No, the Gemara says three things come by surprise in the life of a person. One, a scorpion. You went camping, you lay somewhere in a forest or in a desert. Uh, uh, what? Scorpion. Scorpion, yeah. A huh? A curve. A curve, yeah. A deadly scorpion. I think the yellow one is the deadliest, or the black one, I don't know. They come, psh, sting you. From the minute you realize, that's it. You know, you have two or three hours and you finished. Scorpion, by the time you recognize he came in contact with you, it's, yeah, it gadal vit kadash merabah. Other thing that comes by surprise is finding a lost object. You walk in the street, diamond ring on the floor. Big surprise. Wow, diamond. Or staff of cash fell from someone's pocket. See, $2,000 folding like this on the floor. You pick it up, wow. A month of work just came in a second. And the third one is Mashiach. I will catch you by surprise. One of you will be snowing. The other one will be in a bathroom. One will be in the middle of learning. One will be walking on the street. One will be on the bus. One will be in a plane. Everyone will be somewhere. All of a sudden, you hear a very loud shofar. Most people obviously won't know what it is about. They never learn Torah. Everybody asks, what's this? Do you know what's going on? Yeah, yeah. It comes from Jerusalem. So the question is, where will you be when it happens? I want to ask you a question. These are the only three things that come by surprise? I can give you a million things that come by surprise. They just offer you shiduch after 10 years. Big surprise. <laughs> 10 years, the phone never rang. Boom. Today the shatchan called. I actually have someone very good for you. Big surprise. Metziah. Uh, you got a, a check from the IRS. We calculated five years ago you pay extra money. We're giving you back $5,000. Big surprise. No? No, what you There's a lot of interesting things that may come by surprise. Accident. All kinds of things. So why the Gemara only gave three things? Three things come by surprise. Obviously, it's the, it's the words of the smartest people ever live. Everything is extremely deep. Every word in their mouth is extremely, extremely deep. You have to break your head to understand why they say it and why like that. So the answer is, when the Mashiach would come, for some people it will be a scorpion, deadly scorpion, and for some people it will be like finding a treasure. Depend who you are. If you are Michalel Shabbat, it's a scorpion. If you are gay, it's a scorpion for you. If you are liberal lefty hater of Hashem, it's a scorpion for you. If you Shomer Shabbat, Talmud Yeshiva, Tzadi, comes to shul, comes to, to lectures, keeping mitzvot, eating kosher, it's a, it's a treasure for you. From now on, everything will become wonderful. That's it! No more anti-Semitism, no more Nazis, no more Hamas, no more liberals, no more none of this edek. Finally, the world will be purified. That's what we say every day, three times. Letaken olam bemalchut shadai. Lafnot elecha kol rishi aretz. All the wicked people will be turned into Hashem. They will get their guilty verdict. The world will be finally purified. 